first rule that I told you, if pink is the tooth, the first rule of bracket placement is the incisal edge of the tooth needs to be parallel with the brace of the bracket, with the base of the bracket. Make sense? Okay, so the ideal is no rotation of the bracket. That's the ideal. I'm not compromising the ideal. The ideal is the base of the bracket parallel with the tooth. Okay? But tip edge brackets don't have a straight slot. If they had a straight slot, and then green is my wire, What would happen if my bracket was rotated? So for example, and that's where now I start introducing terminology. If I rotate the bracket clockwise, because I bonded it, rotated, okay? What shape would the slot have? Okay, now I'm trying to fit that same wire. What will happen to the wire? Let's assume it's a night eye. Here is my slot now, because the whole bracket is rotated, because I bonded it that way. My wire now is going to flex, right? Now, the wire wants to straighten out. So as it straightens out, which direction will it take the tooth? You guys see that? Because the wire doesn't know how the tooth is under the bracket. The wire wants to get the bracket straight. So if you bonded the bracket clockwise, you should expect the tooth to move counterclockwise. Does that make sense? This is if the bracket slot was not forgiving. So for example, twin brackets that have four corners, the regular traditional orthodontic brackets are not forgiving you bond them slightly off, you're gonna pay for it, okay? So here's what I'm explaining. I'm deleting all that now. What I was explaining before is, the base of the bracket is always the same. You can see it on the screen, okay? But the actual arch wire slot of the bracket for the tip edge bracket I'm gonna mimic the upper right. What's this? Has cutouts. Is that true? You see the cutouts? Okay, now the ideal is that you bond the bracket with the base of the bracket parallel to the incisal edge. So if you do that, you'll never have a problem with any bracket. Does that make sense? What I was trying to say is, because of the nature of the tip edge bracket, if you accidentally tip it clockwise, so imagine now this setup, and I'm moving it clockwise. Is this corner going up or down, if I'm rotating clockwise? Up. Is this corner coming down or up? Clockwise, this corner comes down. So now you end up with a slot like this. Is it affecting your wire? No. So that's what I mean, it's forgiving. Let's look on the bottom. I'm rotating clockwise. Is this corner coming up or down? Up. So from here it goes up. How about this corner? Down. Okay. 
Do you see how my bracket may be tipped, but my slot will still allow the wire to go through straight? 